Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about two important terms in Excel. One is Excel formula and another one is Excel function. In my experience, I have seen people using both the terms, but they exchange their actual meaning with each other. So at the end of this video, you will be in a position to clearly differentiate between Excel formulas and Excel functions. So to demonstrate, I am going to make use of this simple data. This is the data for 15 students from row number 1 to 15. Their actual marks for four different subjects, mathematics, science, geography and computers. The maximum marks for each subject is 100 and that's the reason the maximum score is 400. So based upon their actual marks, we have calculated the percentage marks and based upon the percentage marks, we have assigned the grades for each student. So the criteria to assign the grades is as below. If the percentage marks is more than 90%, it will be grade A. Between 80 to 90, it will be B. Between 60 to 80, it will be grade C. And less than 60%, it will be D. Now, say for example, we need to show the calculation method to identify the percentage marks for each student by picking any one student as an example. Here in this case, we will pick the student with role number 6. Typically, what we do is we will calculate the total marks for all the four subjects and we will add that value here under the total marks column and then we will divide this value by the maximum marks that can be scored which is 400. That will give the percentage marks. So now we are going to do the same calculation with three different methods. Let me copy and paste the rule number 6 into all three rows. And since we are going to deal with Excel formulas and functions, I will also try to highlight few key points. First things first, whether it is an Excel formula or Excel function, it is always added into an Excel cell and both begin with an equal to symbol. This is very important rule to remember. And in the first method, we are going to directly make use of these values and then calculate the total marks. Here in this case, it will be 81 plus 88 plus 88 plus 87 which will be 344. So to calculate the percentage marks we are again going to start with equal to symbol and then use this value of 344 and divide it by 400. That will give the percentage marks which is 0 0.86 which is basically 86%. So now in the second method we are going to calculate the total marks again by starting with an equal to symbol but this time instead of making use of actual values we are going to make use of cell references by directly clicking on the cell where these values are stored say for example I am going to click on B7 to reference the value that is stored in that particular cell and then separate by plus symbol and then I will go on clicking into each cell references this is another way of doing the calculations with the help of cell references when you hit enter, it will give the same result. So to calculate the percentage marks, again I am going to start with equal to symbol. This time I am going to use the cell reference and then divide it by total marks again by using the cell reference. Now again the results are same. So in the third method, we are directly going to make use of functions which are inbuilt in Excel. Again these functions will start with equal to symbol. And the name of the function is SUM, which is sum. Don't worry about the functions right now. I'm going to cover every topic in upcoming videos. As an input, I'm going to drag and select all these four cells. Close the bracket and hit enter. It will give the same result. So to calculate the percentage marks, I'm going to make use of function by name percent of. And it will take two inputs, obviously total marks and the maximum marks and it will give the same result. So the first two calculations that you see, it is done with the help of Excel formulas. The third calculation that we see, it is done with the help of Excel functions. So to clearly differentiate between Excel formulas and Excel functions, Excel formulas are manually created and they are used to do very simple calculations. While Excel functions are inbuilt formulas in Excel and they can do simple to complex calculations. What I mean by complex calculations? Say for example, there is a requirement to identify the grades based upon the percentage marks. 
we cannot do it with the help of excel formulas because excel formulas cannot manage logical based calculations but the same thing can be achieved with the help of excel functions and we are going to see many such functions in upcoming videos so now we are able to clearly differentiate between excel formula and excel functions